Now my only problem was to keep from tripping and falling on my face as I looked up at the tall hoodoo spires. Each turn of the corner brought scenery that was even more beautiful and bizarre than the last. There were large crowds, but there were some places where I had the park to myself. After a bit more hiking, I finally came out at Bryce Canyon Point. I knew I was supposed to be on vacation, but I had another long day ahead of me. So I headed back to camp for a good night's sleep. After a good night's sleep, I was back on the road again. I decided to take a back road shortcut to save time. I soon found myself at the entrance to the Valley of Fire State Park. The first thing I did was to set up camp. Spot number 18, Valley of Fire. And another view of the campsite. Located just outside of the campground was Arch Rock. This is at Atlanta Rock, famous for petroglyphs carved on that flat rock right there. Here are a few of the petroglyphs on the wall. These petroglyphs range from over 3,000 years old to just a couple hundred years old. After that, I drove to an area where the rock formations were known as the beehives. And from there I went to a site where seven giant boulders in a row were called the Seven Sisters. Here's one of the Seven Sisters from the backside. It was about that time that I noticed this strange sign and wondered what it meant until I saw. Now that sign I've seen at the park entrance was starting to make a whole lot more sense. I decided that going to the park visitor center was a lot more preferable than being on the dessert menu. It was here that I discovered that it wasn't just the predatory arthropods that were making me sweat. I was trying to remain cool, but that was hot enough to melt ice. I figured the best way to beat the heat was to think of something cool. So I thought of the last time I went skiing. Whoa. Located outside the visitor center and on the way to the area called White Domes was a balanced rock formation. Here it is from a different angle. Some of the fiery red rock scenery on the White Domes Road. With scenery like this, no wonder the Valley of Fire is such a popular area for filmmakers. Featured in hundreds of commercials, the Valley of Fire can also be seen in the following movies. Next I went down Petroglyphs Trail to see, what else? More petroglyphs. Actually, the petroglyphs were all over the park. It's fun to try to figure out the meaning of some of the drawings. Here are a few that I saw at another campground. This one looks like it reads, Death rays came from the sky. Men and women were buried. Uh, I don't know what that one means. Here's some of the scenery heading down Fire Canyon. Check out this two-tone colored rock. I decided it was time to turn around when I saw this sign on the road.
there. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Uh, gun. <laughs> you thought I was going to say uh, son of a bitch, didn't you? <laughs>